हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द हाफ ईयरली सिलेबस जस्ट डू द रिविजन ऑफ चैप्टर एट ऑल अबाउट मैप्स कम टू द एक्सरसाइज ए टिक द करेक्ट ऑप्शन वन दिस मैप डिपिक्स फिजिकल फीचर्स सच एज माउंटेन्स रिवर्स प्लेट्यूज एक्सेट्रा and the answer is physical map 2 an atlas is a book of a maps 3 which of the following are shown by green color in a map c plants now four which map helps to know the location of your city the answer is b political map now 5 the distance between two cities p and q is 1200 km but on a map the distance is reduced to 12 cm what is the scale of the map here is the answer option is a 1 cm ratio 100 km now b fill in the blanks 1 The study of maps is called DAS, cartography. The spell is C A R T O G R A P H Y, cartography. Two. DAS is the key that unlocks the meaning of all the colors on a map. Here is the answer. Legend. L E G E N D. Now three. A map. Without a scale is called sketch. S K E T C H. Now four number. Dark color shows mountains and high lands in a map. The answer is brown. B R O W N. The last five. There are dark main directions. Four. F O U R four. Now C. Write T for true and F for false statement. One. A map shows more information than the globe. True. <coughs> Two. The scale is often mentioned in a corner of the map. Yes. True. Three. All maps are drawn to scale in a different way. False. In a same way. It, it, um, it is a false statement. Right. F. Four. There are eight sub directions. False. Fifth, a metal road is represented by three straight lines. False. Now D. Match the following. One green plains, yellow plateaus, blue water bodies, brown mountains. top of map north and bottom of a map south now come to the last question answer e answer these questions one what is a map the answer in the page number 60 A map is a drawing of a surface or a part of it on a flat surface. Now, question number two: How is a map useful? Here is the answer. The page number fifty-five. A map provides us information about places on the surface of the earth in greater detail than a globe. Now third, distinguish between physical, political, and the mathematic maps. Here is the answer on the same page fifty-five. First, you write about physical maps. Physical maps depict physical features like mountains, seas, rivers, lakes, forests, and farms. Now, write about political maps. Political map depict countries. capital cities and other important place now the third the matic maps the matic maps 
the map that focus on the certain themes or topics such as rainfalls crop industries etc now, now let's move on the next question four what is a scale here is the answer on the page number 60 A scale is the ratio between the distance on the map and distance on the ground. Fifth number, what is the legend? The legend is the explanation of a map. And the last, how are signs and symbols of map useful in reading map? Here is the answer I am written. They give a lot of information in a limited space. With the use of signs and symbols, map can be drawn easily and are simple to read. Even if we don't know the language of an area and therefore cannot ask someone for directions, we can collect information from maps with the help of signs and symbols. I hope you did the exercise. Especially A, B, C and D in your book. But E, answer this question. All the question answers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have to write in your rough notebook. All are compulsory to write. But now I am giving to you, giving to you, give us some questions to learn only. What is a map? Distant gives between physical, political and dramatic maps. What is a scale and what is the legend? These four questions you have to learn. But all the questions you have to write in your rough notebook. After that you have to do this page also. 62 page number. Let's do and learn. It is very easy. Look at the picture and write their names in the boxes. Okay. Encircle the first letter to each name. You will find the name of person who make a map right here and encircle the first letter of each name. You will find the name of a person who makes a map. Okay. Now then after worksheet. Draw signs and symbols of the following in the box provided. Very easy it is. Dam, stream, forest, temple, railway line and bridge. Okay. Draw signs and symbols here. And the last, B, show direction and sub-direction on the direction cross given below. It is the end of the chapter. Thank you.